Hello guys, Mark McBride here, and today we're going to be playing Na in the top lane. Uh, we are versus a Nidley. Um, I'm not really a Na player, so I'm not entirely sure who this lane favours. But um, I'm going to be playing pretty safely, as I'm not really entirely sure what I'm doing. Uh, I'm running 2190 Masteries, and I'm running Attack Damage Quints, Attack Damage Reds, Armor Yellows, and Magic Resist per level Blues. Uh, skill order, I believe, is going to be QWE, taking your point R whenever you can. And um, from what I've gathered, I'm just going to want to poke her down with my Q and try and get a few stacks of W to proc the extra damage. So I'm about to transform, but I don't want to go too ham without my E, because I want to be able to jump on her. So I'm just going to farm these guys up, and I'm going to miss the Siege Minion, because I'm bad. Anyway, we'll just carry on doing what we're doing. Their jungler's Yi, and I can see him mid, so I'm not in too much, too much danger. And you're always going to want to try and catch your Q as it reduces the cooldown quite significantly, especially at later levels. Just gonna dodge that spear from Nidalee. So uh, she's just taking all kinds of harass from me at the moment. And we've, uh, we've got our health back up nicely. So she's jumped the wrong way there, so we're going to be able to get some free harass off here. And the ignite, just jump in range. First blood. Pretty happy with that, and uh, the reason I have picked up Gnar is because I have seen those uh, ludicrous Narvan comps, and uh, I want to get in on that action. So I'm going to learn to play Gnar, so I can... Uh, I can take him to ranked because, and he seems like fun as well. Like there always seem to be a fair amount of options as to what you can do, and uh, I find that I find that fun, especially when compared to some of the more binary champions. So we're just going to pick up those guys, get a bit more damage down on the tower. Some free harass on Italy. Cool, so good job, Vi. Oh, so I'm going to eat that. So I'm just going to jump away. So I don't eat all of our skills. Cool, so now we've got RR. Just gonna dodge that key from Nidalee. And due to the fact she's putting minimal harassment down on us, we're just able to uh, farm back up our health. No problems, just using our Doran's Blade. Nice damage off there. And I'm going to miss another siege. An enemy has been slain. And it's always important, where possible, to stay within the minions against the Nidalee. Just so she can't hit you with her spears as they do do. Some pretty horrendous damage, really. And obviously you don't want to proc her hunted passive either. Oh, 
so I'm going to eat that. If she comes in on me there, I'm, I'm going to transform, so there's not too much she can do. So we got Ezreal top. Just going to jump away from that, using my E. So from the looks of things, they're going to be doing a lane swap. An enemy has been slain. So good job to fire again. Now on a killing spree. Someone's going to jump out of the way there. So we might be able to kill him here. Um, but in all honesty, I'm not sure. I might give it a go anyway. Mm. Uh, to be fair, that didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> And um, I forgot, to be honest, that when you knock him away, that his ult fires from its point of cast. So, in trying to avoid that, I accidentally just uh, got myself killed. But never mind. Onwards and upwards, as they say. So we're going to start building towards our Trinity Force. And, as you can see, I'm getting a Phage into a Zeal. For that extra attack speed. And then I'll be getting a Blade of the Ruined King. Maybe a Yumu's. And then I'll be getting Tanky. But to be fair, you can do it. Either way, really. He builds pretty well as a tank, and he doesn't scale that well. Off having tons of AD. But um, I'm just trying to learn him, and I want it to be fun. So I'm going to experiment, see what I can do. So I'm just going to try and avoid these Mystic Shots from Ez. Cool, so just going to hit him with that. And the mistake he made there is going on the other side of the tower. So he was trapped between the tower and the wall, so um, the likelihood of me missing was somewhat limited. And apparently I'm just allergic to killing siege moons today, but um, not the end of the world. Oh, great work again to Vi. He was 4 and 1. So things are looking pretty good for us so far, as we do have just over double their kills. So I'm just going to avoid that Essence Flux, as it is AP Ezreal's main source of damage, alongside his E, Arcane Shift, and his ultimate, True Shot Barrage. So I am going to want to be careful. So I'm going to miss my boomerang there. So as you can see, once you're just about to uh, transform, your colors change. Uh, sorry, your skills change color, and then that way you know casting that skill will make you transform. 
if you cast your E, you will still get the bounce. So, uh, can use it to set up some nice plays. So. I'm just going to ask for a little bit of help. And I'm going to get some sustain as well, so I don't need to keep coming back. I mean, Ezreal's not a huge threat to me, but at the same time, I would like to be able to uh, press for our advantage, if at all possible. But um, if not, not a huge deal. I'll just keep playing safe until I see an opportunity, and we'll just do our best. So there goes his ultimate, so that's a fair amount of his power down, although, saying that, there's a high chance he'll be getting back now as he has no mana, so we'll just be able to farm these guys up. Just ping so the other guys know. He's not here, just in case he decides to appear in another lane. And there we go, so as you can see, wave clears, getting pretty good now. So I should be able to pick up this tower, no problem. Cool, so there we go. So he's made a mistake there. He's uh, used all his skills. He's popped heal, and I'm going to get the slow off. And there we go. So that's the dead Ezreal. So as you can see, Mini Nard does excel in chasing people down, as you are faster. And you do have a pretty sizable slow in your queue, especially at max rank. So he's pretty hard to get away from. So I can see Midley here, so... I'm going to jump over this wall. I'm going to fail jumping over that wall, is what I mean. I'm going to miss my stun, but she's going to run away. She's going to miss her spear, so I'm in no danger at all. And now we're going to be able to head back. So there goes another Ezreal ult. And another dragon for us, so... um. Yeah, this game's going pretty well, all in all. Cool, so we got enough for our Trinity Force now, so we're going to be able to go back and pick that up. These guys are dead. Cool. And I'm just going to head back to up and try and push it down. Another great thing about R is your E. Great escape tool. If people come to you, you can just jump over walls. Or of course you can jump onto minions and hop double the distance. So all in all it's pretty effective. Good dodge there actually from Jinx. Managed to dodge both of those skills, which would have probably both killed her. these guys. Cool, so we can see Vi taking on those guys mid. She's going to smash them, to be honest. She's uh, pretty fed. TF's ulting in. And while all those guys are fighting, I might be able to get this tower. Actually, we'll go and help out TF, as he is being chased down by Diana. So I'm just going to get in here, take out these guys, and there we go, so made the right choice by going to help him there. He'll get a couple of kills, I'll get a couple of assists, and a kill, and hopefully pick up this tower as well.
probably not going to get the tower at this point, actually, now that they're all back up. And it took a while for the wave to come in. So we'll just hop over this wall. We'll pick up Grump. We'll actually jump over that wall this time. And good thing I did, as we do have three of them top. Just to let our guys know. Just gonna ping to let them know that these guys are missing. Right, so they're all fighting, so I'm going to take this tower. Should I be with them? Probably, but uh, our team's massively split anyway, so those guys got caught out. Somewhat, but they're all pretty far away now, so I'll be able to get this tower. So let's see if we can get this nice and quickly before those guys react. Vi's just tearing through them. So great work, Vi. So we'll get this tower, no problem. Then we'll uh, get this blue and give it to Vi. There we go. And we'll just back away. We'll get this trap again. Then we'll just keep the pressure on down here. So, yeah, I can't see these guys, so I'm just gonna hop onto this minion here and avoid her Q. Then I'll throw my boomerang backwards. She gets slowed. Yeah, these guys don't have a, have a hope of catching me. Just keep getting my slows off. So there we go. Just gonna jump over her. There's the queue. Some ah. didn't quite see us there. So that's that's my bad. But uh I think what I did to Diana was pretty good. And I'm going to pick up Zerk Screes, just for a laugh. They're not the best boots to get, I know that, but... Again, why the hell not? So, great work, Jinx. Bot lane, pushing down nicely. Great job by TF as well. So all in all, got a pretty competent team here, which is always nice. Doesn't seem to be all that common these days. And we'll just keep pushing this down. 
as bot lane will now push itself. And there we go. So we'll just keep on pushing. See what we can do. And in terms of what their team's going to have to do, either they're going to have to defend bot if the super creeps push down, or they're going to have to come stop me. And the super creeps will push through, super minions even. So uh, they don't have too much in the way of choices. Excuse me. So yeah, we'll join these guys now. Get this tower, no problem. Let's avoid that. Should be able to pick up us here. I'll back off a bit as they are all here now. Because, yeah, we'll get him, no problem. And there's another one. Right, so I've gone the wrong way around the tower there, so... My bad. Wasn't able to save him. But I uh, should be able to pick up Diana here. There we go. back away a bit here. And there's another one. So um it's going pretty well now, actually the last few minutes. And we'll see if we can pick this up. creeps so it doesn't push out. And to be honest, he would be a fool to try and attack me now. But I can see at least two of them, so I'm gonna walk away. heal up and we should be able to get this. And there we go. So I'm going to completely whiff my, uh, my boomerang though, but no big deal. And we'll pick up the third in here. Don't think Nidalee will try and attack me. There we go, so that's three inhibs for us. So I'm going to chase down the she. So there goes his flash. If I can tag him with a boomerang blade, I will get him. So what I'm going to do here... There we go, so that's hit him. I'm not going to bother trying to catch it. I'm going to jump over this wall with here. There we go. There we go, so let's go for us. And it's looking like we're gonna end the game here. So yeah, I'm gonna end this with a fair amount of gold, decent amount of kills. So I've been Mark McBride, hopefully you found this entertaining, somewhat informative. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.